Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a very quick Dollar Tree haul. So if you're interested in seeing this video, please be sure to stay tuned. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a very quick Dollar Tree haul video for you today. I stopped into my local Dollar Tree not too long ago and picked up a few things that I thought would be really, really, really awesome for some craft projects. So be sure to stay on the lookout for those. That video will be coming up within the next couple weeks. So the first item that I purchased was this really pretty home sign. And unfortunately, there's no way for me to show you all at the same time but as you can see it is very long i love the fake wood part um, and then the colors are just absolutely gorgeous to me i probably will not do anything with this i'm thinking about just kind of sitting it out in front of my door just because it's already so pretty the way that it is i don't really feel like it needs any you know anything done to it and then the next item that i found was this super cute valentine's day sign it says happy valentine's day i really like this burlap piece here not really a big fan of these colors so i will probably change out um you know the background and then just re-put the words on so i'm not really a big you know red person i like um more soft and muted colors so that will probably be the extent of changing this it's just kind of changing the colors a little bit but I do really love this cool little like burlap feature um, I just wish it wasn't you know this red in the background but anyway I think it's super cute um, and even if you left it as is it serves the intended purpose I found these really cool wood products so well I don't know if this is wood I guess it's not really wood. It's like particle board or whatever crushed particle board um, but this one is the XOXO I thought it was so cute um, and especially for a dollar like man i mean even as is it's just beautiful it's strong enough to just stand up it obviously has a string if you want to hang it um but i just thought it was really pretty then they also have this love sign which again i thought was super cute i'm pretty sure there were two versions of this but i really like this one because i like the heart in the middle and i know this stuff came out of valentine's day but obviously this does not have to be valentine's day because I mean, you just love all year. So it doesn't really have to be Valentine's Day. It can kind of just, you know, go with whatever your normal decor is. And again, it's, you know, thick enough to stand up or, you know, you can hang it. And then they have this home sign, which is the same basic design as the other ones. And once again, um, you know, you can put, to, put whatever um, decor you like or you can make it a Valentine's Day one. I'm going to keep, again, all of these very neutral just because I would like them just in my house all the time. So I'm not gonna really stick with the Valentine's Day kind of colors. Everything will just be kind of neutral for me. Then they had this one, which I thought was very pretty. It's very thin. Um, but I thought it was cute and I love that it's just a blank slate so you can literally, you know, the, the possibilities are endless with this one. Um, but I thought it was super duper cute. So again, not really sure what I'm going to do with it right at this moment, but I know that I will come up with something very soon. And then this is my last wood like piece. And this one is definitely, you know, like real wood. Um, and these are some just wooden hearts, which I thought were super cute. And I love that this is like actual wood. Um, so yeah, these are super cute. I'm actually thinking about making these kind of look like candy hearts. And then I can do, um, you know, like some cute ones for my husband. I think that'd be kind of cute. So to go along with his Valentine's Day gift, since this will be our first Valentine's Day together um, as husband and wife. So yeah, I think that'll be super cute. So I got like four of these um, just to do different things with. And then some non-Valentine Day-ish items. 
one of the things I found was this super cute little phone case. Um, I love that it is like, like a mirror, basically. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll leave it like as is. I was actually thinking about putting some like bling on it, just kind of, you know, bling it up a little bit. But I think it's cool that it's a mirror because, you know, you just need a mirror sometimes. Um, <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. And again, for a dollar, like, I'm like, you can't really do that. And then these little bees, I love, um, I thought they were really cute. I saw that Crafts, uh, Crafts by Caitlin, she uses these beads on a lot of her frames. So she'll like cut the beads in half and then, you know, glue them to the frame. And then when you paint over them, it just gives this, the frames like a real cool texture look. So since they have the beads at the store, I decided to go ahead and pick those up because that might be something that I try out, um, you know, one of my frame projects. And then they have these little like dessert bowls or, you know, ice cream bowls or whatever you want to use them for. Um, I have a cute project in mind that I saw on Bargain Bethany's channel um, where she made some ice cream out of, um, I think it's plaster or something like that. But she used some like different glasses and cups and then I saw this one and I thought like, oh, that would be the perfect little thing for, you know, some fake ice cream decor. So I just picked one of these up because I thought it was super duper cute and it would be perfect for that particular project. So again, stay on the lookout for that video. It will be coming soon. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up. I know other stores have tons of other things um, and I, you know, could have gotten more things but at this point, I'm trying to just stop buying things just for the sake of buying them. And if I can't actually figure out like what I would use it for, then just not picking it up because I'm running out of room <laughs> for all of my uh, craft ideas and craft supplies. So anyway, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and it gave you some inspiration for some things to look out for at your local Dollar Tree. Please let me know what item you think is the coolest down below in the comments. And also, if you have not done so, be sure to like this channel and subscribe so that you can be a part of the Brandy Janae family. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.